Hi everybody, welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a closer look at the love story of Carolyn Bissett Kennedy and John F. Kennedy Jr. This picture that you guys are first seeing is important because it's the first picture that was ever taken of John and Carolyn and it was actually taken in 1993 at a marathon in New York City before John and Carolyn officially started dating. As I take you guys through the early dating life of John and Carolyn, which was late 1994 and into early 1995, you'll see some defining characteristics of the pictures that were taken during that time. The couple looks really relaxed. They're often in Central Park walking the dog or playing frisbee. And there are also some other little characteristics that um, are noticeable. For example, John has a German Shepherd at this time. This was before they adopted their dog Friday. Carolyn's hair is a darker shade before she died. Uh, her hair a little blonder. So it's interesting to see those um, characteristics of that time. But for now, let's take it back to when the couple first officially started dating. This was in 1994, and John had just ended a long-term relationship with actress Daryl Hannah, whom he'd been together with since 1988. John broke up with Daryl in 1994, and their breakup was revealed to the press in August, shortly after his mom's death. Jackie's death really put things into perspective for John, and he really started thinking long-term about his future. Now, if the Hollywood actress type was a thing, Carolyn Bissett was the exact opposite. Carolyn was a minimalist, and she really didn't like any of the public attention. In fact, according to many friends, John had to ask Carolyn out many, many times before she finally agreed to it. John felt really challenged by Carolyn at the beginning because she kept on turning him down and this wasn't something that he was used to. He was used to everybody wanting to be with him and being really eager to be with him, but that wasn't Carolyn at all and she was a little hesitant of his public image and the public life that would come along dating him and so she declined many times before she finally agreed to it. It. And this was funny for friends and for Carolyn as, as well when they looked back um, because he would always figure out a way to come back to the Calvin Klein showroom where Carolyn worked, whether it was for a business meeting or fittings, he always find, found a way to see Carolyn. However, once the relationship was on, it was on. The couple couldn't get enough of each other. They really, really loved each other from the very beginning. John loved how charismatic Carolyn was. He loved how beautiful and smart she was, and he couldn't get enough of her. And Carolyn loved how John treated her. He was a true gentleman. And she also loved that he was paving his own way with George magazine and he was really stepping out of his family's shadow. The relationship regressed quickly and not only did the couple date, but they were best friends. They would do everything together. Carolyn quickly moved into John's loft in Tribeca. They took on a dog together that they called Friday. Um, John ended up introducing Carolyn to his family in 95, and his family absolutely loved her. They were so taken by her. This photo that you guys are seeing right now, this was actually taken in the Kennedy compound in Hyannis in 95. And it was also a really big year for the couple because it was the year that John proposed. John ended up proposing with a sapphire and diamond eternity band, which was a rare for an engagement ring. It still is to use an eternity band as an engagement ring, but that was exactly how Carolyn wanted it. She wanted it unique, minimal, and simple, and it was exactly her style. John proposed in July of 1995 during a weekend on Martha's Vineyard. The couple was fishing on a boat off the island's coast. When he started talking about how everything is better with a partner, fishing, yes, but also life. And he used this as a funny way to tell Carolyn that he wanted her to be not just his fishing partner, but also his life partner. 
and just how Carolyn had given him a hard time with dating, she also waited three weeks before accepting the marriage proposal. Now, of course, Carolyn wasn't just taking this time for the sake of being difficult or making John wait. She really wanted to be sure of her decision. She wasn't a big fan of the public spotlight as much as she loved John, and she really wanted to take all things into consideration before she took this relationship to the next level of an engagement and then ultimately marriage. So she really used this time to think through all of the different aspects that would come with being a Kennedy wife and not just simply dating John on a day-to-day basis. Once Carolyn had thought everything through, she was so excited to accept John's proposal and they became a happily engaged couple. They're ecstatic to be planning their wedding, which was to be a really special ceremony and reception for only their close family and friends. On September 21st, 1996, John and Carolyn exchanged vows at dusk in an intimate and private ceremony on a secluded island off the coast of Georgia. This island was so small that it only had a population of less than 30 people. It was so important to John and Carolyn to keep this wedding a secret and make sure that there were no leaks to the press. They only invited 35 of their closest family and friends, and even then they didn't tell anybody where the wedding was taking place. The guests flew to Florida, and then they were secretly boated to this island that nobody knew where it was or where they were going. As you guys just saw in previous pictures, the chapel on this island is so small that it barely fit 35 guests. The ceremony was incredibly beautiful. Carolyn was a beautiful bride. She wore a gorgeous dress. It was minimal, modern, and I think that we're so lucky to be able to have pictures from that day to see and reflect on so many years later. One of the best parts of the day for the couple was that they were able to successfully evade the paparazzi. Nobody got a hold of the pictures until they came back into the city and that was the first that anybody heard of it once it had already been over and done with. One of the downsides to this was that it did provoke the paparazzi and the media a little bit. They weren't happy to have been tricked and not have known about this secret ceremony and Carolyn did find the paparazzi to be a lot more to handle with once she got back from the wedding and the honeymoon. John and Carolyn honeymooned in Turkey. They had a really great time there. They explored the country and it was an adventurous trip for them. They weren't as under the radar as they had been for their wedding and they definitely did get noticed, but it was still a really good time for them. Once the couple came back from their honeymoon, they started to settle into what would now be their life as a married couple. There was a famous scene that happened outside of the uh, Tribeca apartment where John came out and just asked the paparazzi to give Carolyn a little bit more space and time to adjust as his wife because the frenzy that followed the honeymoon and the wedding had become a little bit much for them. But that's the kind of man that John was. He supported Carolyn and he wanted her to feel as comfortable as possible as she adjusted to her new role as his wife. Carolyn really came into her own in the coming months in 1990, late 1996 and going into 1997. She became more confident, she found her style, and she started attending more and more society events with John. The couple was full of so many hopes and dreams. John and Carolyn talked about John becoming a senator. They talked about starting a family, and they also talked about moving out of the city. They were really excited about their future and really looking forward to everything that was to come. And I'd like to end this video on this note. This was John and Carolyn's love story. They met 
they fell in love, they fell madly in love, they got engaged, they became married, and they hoped for the future, they had plans for the future. And of course, it would have been wonderful had they had the opportunity to live that out and for us to see them grow together. But that doesn't mean that their love story was necessarily cut short. Their love story was and will always be. And every love story is different. Not every love story needs to be 100 years old, although it would be amazing if it is. It's not always. And I think let's take this time to appreciate the amazing love story that John and Carolyn um, left behind for us to look back on and reflect no matter how short it was. One last thing, because I know I might get some comments on this, I've chosen not to include any disagreements or any rumors regarding the couple in this video. In my opinion, there's no couple that doesn't argue, and lucky for most of us, we don't have to do that publicly, but John and Carolyn, they did face some moments in their relationship publicly, and I do believe that everybody goes through that, and nobody would want that defining their relationship. Do like and subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next video.